Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one we're actually going to take a look at our home network, what's going on, how many different things we have, what we use, how it's set up and all the different features and software and hardware behind it. But first, if you are new around here, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video or a dislike if you didn't like it and drop a comment below letting us know your thoughts. We'd really love to hear from you. And also we have something for everyone in our uh, YouTube library of videos. We have uh, how to's, tutorials, reviews, unboxings, music, vlogs, and lots, lots more. So uh, do check it out and uh, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I'm gonna step aside here, open up the closet behind me um, and uh, take a look. Now I have done a network tour video before, um, but things have changed since that one. Uh, so we're gonna uh, take a look and um, see, you can have a look back at my previous videos um, and uh, see what has changed. Um, and uh, here we go. All right, what I'm gonna do is we'll start from the top and work our way down. Okay, so um, up here is just storage. Um, we just have a bunch of stuff that's boring. <laughs> it's cables, spare parts, old hard drives, network uh, cables, um, just uh, lots and lots of spare things that we don't need to have out and about. So. Yep, we put them up in these uh, in these drawers here, and there's three sets of them, and they're all full of just like junk and spare. <laughs> all right, so moving down onto the top shelf, this is where all the real action takes place now. Um, on this side, uh, which is um, going to be your um, left and my right, uh, we have the security monitor, and. Uh, Right now, for privacy, it's just zoomed in to one of our cameras uh, showing the tree. But normally, this would be showing uh, all of our cameras um, around the house. So that's uh, what we have on there. And then if we look up here, there's a little switch box right here. And this will actually turn uh, the screen over to the Unraid server uh, and launch the command prompt here uh, so that I can access um, unraid from this if I need to um, and uh, run commands and so this little switch box right here will jump back and forth between uh, the security cameras and the unraid and then really all else that's going on on this top shelf is all charging um, we had the mouse here for the uh, for the camera and the unraid server um, and then um, the uh, the charging stand for tablets and things like that and then just a bunch of charging cables every different kind you can imagine here we have USB we have uh, uh, USB-C we have lightning we have you know all the different um, peripheral charging cables that are necessary to charge all of our devices and then we also have batteries yep rechargeable batteries here and then off to um, this side we have a power strip mounted on the wall and then the switch here for the light which I put in and then let's go down to the next shelf because that's about it for that one uh, really this one's really basic this is just our printer this is a uh, brother laser printer um, scanner copier all in one right here um, and then just some paper and that's actually it for that shelf uh, the next one down, that's where all the action takes place. Uh, so we'll take a look on this side here. At the very top, um, on top of the, uh, the computer, we'll start here. This is the uh, NVR, the network video recorder. This is where all the cameras come in. Um, and then, uh, uh, so that's an eight channel NVR. Um, and we have six uh, cameras on it right now. And there's a three terabyte hard drive in there which gets around about uh, two weeks or so of, of storage, um, continuously recording, so pretty decent. Uh, next to that is our SmartThings hub right here, um, and uh, that controls uh, a lot of the SmartThings, our alarm system, window sensors, door sensors, um, motion, all that kind of stuff uh, runs through that. Uh, and then underneath it is the Unraid server, but I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. Uh, we'll talk more on that 
Um, and then uh, in front of it over here is our modem. Uh, it's just a uh, standard 32 by 8 Doxus 3.1 modem uh, for our Southern Link ISP, uh, 400 meg a second. Um, 400 by 40 is what it is and they're pretty accurate when I run the speed test we normally get actually um, about 10% over uh, can usually pull around 420 430 uh, megasecond down and probably about 41 42 up so it's a fairly decent consistent uh, connection um, and then right here um, this is our um, storage bay expansion for the Unraid server, which houses some hard drives. I'll come to that in a second as well. And then a couple of fans keeping things cool. And then back here are our switches and router. Um, so uh, the router first, that is the NetGate um, uh, router, the uh, 1100 series. Um, it runs PFSense, um, and that is what we use for router and firewall. Um, and then connected to that is uh, two Unify switches. I have the uh, USW8 port um, and then a, 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 um, a Unify Flex Mini switch uh, connected to those. And then they are managed by our Unify uh, Docker container running on the Unraid server. Um, plugged into those is all the network cables that run throughout the house, um, as well as two PoE powered Unify access points. I have one up here in the laundry room, which is an AC light. And then I have one up in the living room, which is an AC Pro Nano HD. Um, and then uh, that's uh, right it for the switches, those two. And then um, one of those cables actually runs out into the garage uh, where I have a PoE switch, which powers all of the cameras I was talking about earlier. Um, so that's where all those go to. And then next to that, um, there are two uh, battery backups um, with various things plugged into them. Um, the Unraid server, a couple of uh, PoE injectors to keep things powered up um, and the switches and so on. Uh, and that'll get us around about 30 minutes of power uh, should we lose power. So enough to save things and uh, uh, shut down safely. Um, so now let's go on to the Unraid server. So this has um, been replaced fairly recently because I had issues with uh, the other one, uh, the, the previous one, uh, which was fairly old. It was only a, a, a AMD dual core uh, A6. Um, so it was pretty, um, pretty low spec uh, and it, it had some bad memory and uh, bad drive issue and things like that uh, kept causing it to drop off the network um, and so uh, we upgraded to this one uh, this is a 9th gen i5 um, and uh, it's running 32 gigs of ram uh, ddr4 and then um, we have um, uh, 24 terabytes of usable storage with a 6 terabyte parity drive um, and those are spread across uh, various different size four and three terabyte uh, drives, uh, some of which are internal and some are in that um, uh, external drive bay, uh, which I was telling you about before, which holds four drives by USB 3.0 connection into the back of the server. Um, and so that's where all our data is stored, our shared drive, um, and uh, uh, all that is run from. And then we have a one terabyte Samsung Evo SSD, 860 Evo um, in here, which runs um, all of the cache. Uh, and also it has uh, virtual machines and dockers loaded onto it as well. And then as I mentioned, this is running Unraid. Um, so we have a couple of virtual machines and uh, quite a few dockers, including um, the Unify Docker, um, I also have Plex, uh, Pi-hole, and um, a couple of other different Dockers as well. And then I have a Windows virtual machine that I use for testing, um, and just a few other little things. We can always do another video on what's on my Unraid server if you want to do that. And uh, then um, that's it for that shelf. Uh, that's the, like the brains of everything where everything comes and connects into. Um, so now at the bottom shelf is literally storage. Uh, it's just some paper, 
um, some toner for the uh, for the printer and um, that's literally it and then some dangling cables that, that run down there um, that's pretty much it because the cable management is something that needs to be fixed <laughs> and then up here back to the top shelf real quick I actually have a keyboard um, which is connected to the Unraid server so that I can uh, uh, come in here and and just type on this and you know do what I need to do if I need to um, as well so that's this part of the shelf which I built out to, to hold on uh, a keyboard um, and then just uh, on the floor we just have boxes of paper and a re ream of paper down here and uh, that's actually about it guys um, so I don't think I missed anything um, but uh, if there's anything specifically in this uh, that you would like more information on or want to know how it works a little bit more, um, just uh, let me know. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think um, and I'd be happy to help you, happy to respond and answer any questions. Um, if you uh, think I could do something different, something better, let me know. I'm all, uh, all open, all ears. Um, i got to say I, I love my... Uh, uh, Unify and PFSense combination. It offers uh, great flexibility, um, much better than going with a, a UDM um, or a uh, um, edge router or you know something like that. I just uh, I like plus I use PFSense um, at work as well for different clients. So it's good to actually have one at home and be able to delve into a lot more of the customizable features and functions that PFSense has. And then we also use Unify a lot for different clients at work. So. It's good to have uh, some unified gear here that I can run tests on and use um, in the home. All right, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. And um, yeah, don't forget to uh, subscribe and check out the other videos. And until then, uh, the next video, we will see you later. Goodbye.